Gina and I are a team who are available to the duty officers. So we went on this one call that was a fire up in Jennings and there was another incident happening across the street where a couple of neighbors were having an argument. It's one of those situations we were totally involved in, and engaged with the client. We heard the argument. And at some point we were almost wrapped up and almost ready to go and all of a sudden the gunshots started flying. So once we heard the, uh, the shots, Dan, I must commend him for having the leadership role to make sure that uh, the client and myself were taking appropriate uh, cover. In fact, he was hovering over her so that she would be uh, safe within the environment. We're trained on how to deal with some of these unsafe situations. The first one is our safety and the safety of our client. But when we roll up on a fire and somebody's standing in front of their house and they've lost everything, their clothes are ruined, their food's ruined, everything that's important to them is ruined, they don't know where they're staying tonight. And we walk up and we say, we're Red Cross, we're here to help. And the Red Cross allows me to go out and help these people who some are having the worst days of their lives and some are just having a really, really bad day and they need somebody to step up and help them through this day. We accept the award and we accept it on behalf of the American Red Cross and our colleagues and friends who are DAT members. So without them, we're not able to do what we do. And every once in a while I meet somebody who had Red Cross help after a devastating fire. And the things they say about Red Cross is just wonderful. It makes every minute I spend volunteering worth it.